you bad like that, you know. But I'm the one that eats your pain. I know. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Deja Jordan, for those of you that are new and for my returning kin folks. What's up? So, you guys, in today's little vlog, we are going out. We have a girls outing, okay? But before we get into all of that, as y'all can see, my hair is not done. I need to do my hair. I need to run to the mall. After that, I do need to come home, do my makeup, drop my kids off at the sitter, and then um we are going to be going out to see the tonight's conversation podcast with one of my mom friends so i'm super excited it's gonna be like a new experience because i don't really get out or go out in atlanta so i'm excited to see like what the vibe is gonna be tonight so yeah i decided to pick up the camera and take y'all along with me so let's go ahead and get started but before we even get into it y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button also hit that little bell on the side so that you can stay connected better smash it too what he said <laughs> Now let's go ahead and get started on this hair. How do you know the way I feel? You got me losing my mind. Oh. Try to suppress my emotions. They're bursting like fountains. Baby. They take me down I'm getting weak on my knees Make you feel like though, why this make you feel like though? Yeah, then come wine till you broke off your back. Broke off your back. What's that? Okay. Gina Bell, Gina Bell. Get in your seat every time. Gina Bell, Put your seatbelt on. Stop singing jingle bells. <laughs> Gina Bell, Gina Bell. Crane, seatbelt. You, you, you're wilding right now. 
just seen that I did my hair. Right now we are headed to the mall because I when I was at the mall the other day, there was a shirt that I wanted, but I wasn't sure how I was gonna style it. And y'all, I've been sleeping on it. I've been sleeping on it for like two days. So I need to go mall, ahead and grab the shirt. We have about two hours to be like completely ready and dressed for the event tonight. And then I gotta drop the kids off. Um, and then yeah. Y'all, that's the vibes. That's what we got going on right now. So yeah, right now we are pulling up to the mall. <sighs> it looks kind of busy, but y'all look. It's lace though. <sighs> Let's talk about it later though. This is how we do it. Sorry, the camera, we all tilting. But anyways, you guys, so we are back from the store and I only have about 45 minutes to get dressed. I've already showered. Obviously, y'all see that my hair is done. So that just kind of like shaved off a lot of time. So the only thing that I really need to do, honestly, is just my makeup and get dressed. Yeah, but before we go ahead and get started on makeup and stuff like that and finishing up our hair, I do want to show y'all the outfit so that I do not run out of time and then be rushing. So I'm going to show y'all it off and then I'm going to show y'all it. Um, okay because you know still gotta style it still gotta make it look nice but anyways let me go ahead and show y'all what i got okay so those jeans right there these are just a pair of straight leg jeans and i got those from h&m i am a size six in h&m jeans i'm so happy that i was actually able to find this dark wash because i just needed a plain pair of jeans anyway that was gonna go good and then the shirt that we're going to be wearing y'all i literally slept on this whole entire outfit so you know the hair all that I was like I just want everything to be perfect but y'all this is the shirt it's kind of giving like old school but y'all know your girl is like a plain Jane I literally only wear like black most of the time so I'm trying to like venture out and wear other colors and stuff like that I have not decided if I was gonna wear heels or tennis shoes my homegirl that I'm going with she is wearing um, a pair of sneakers so you know since it's just me and her I definitely want to make sure that you know we kind of like matched as far as like vibes so we'll try everything on and we'll see how it looks but in the meantime let's go ahead and uh, do this makeup I'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking <laughs> I'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking at all but yeah cuz we got a time crunch so let's go ahead and get started before we be running late we don't need that don't know what you got
this is the hair. It looks a mess. Well, let me show you the outfit. This is the top. This is the jeans. And the shoes. I went ahead and went with the black. I went with the black um, booties and then I keep going to uh, match the aesthetic. And we got the gold accents. Boom. This is where we're at. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all at the event. Now you got me so excited from all of these kisses. Baby, don't deny it. Let's go the distance. The fire's been ignited. Now let it burn your senses. Our first question, but I want to I want to I want to ask something that we talked about a little bit earlier. We talked about how people are in relationships and we we're like, okay, this is a relationship that may not be becoming. You may want to consider leaving that relationship. My question is, why do people struggle with that though? Why is that so difficult? And what's our best tip in order to give to somebody if they need to leave a toxic relationship? Well, I'm just seeing a meme about this. What's that? What's the meme say? It's just that people feel better in a comfortable situation that they know than being uncomfortable. Dating, dating the devil that you don't know, dealing with someone with other traumas, you really feel like, actually, I'm good. I like that you.